tomorrow I'm leaving to go to a place I never ever imagined I would travel to at least not until a month or two ago and I still have to pack everything I have my clothes and um, camera gear ready but I still have to like actually pack everything and to be honest I don't have any expectations set for this trip because I don't want to be disappointed but I'm sure whatever happens it's gonna be like the best trip of this year or maybe even of my life who knows so see you tomorrow morning and it's gonna be a long day of traveling <laughs> ago and soon I'm about to go on a plane to Houston which is an 11 hour long flight and I actually prefer those long flights over the short ones like an hour long ones so I'm excited I'm gonna definitely watch some movies go to sleep because I had to wake up at 3 a.m. So get changed, I'm going to the pool. <laughs> to be honest, this hotel is so fancy. I'm probably not even gonna use half of this stuff or probably most of this stuff. Okay, it's actually so nice in here because the AC is on. I'm so impressed, really. And by the way, I hardly ever stay in any hotels. So, because I usually, if we, every single time when I go on a trip with my friend or with my family, we always stay in Airbnb because it's obviously the cheapest option usually. Uh, but here, I mean, I wanted it to be as convenient as possible, as close to the airport as possible. And this is, this is what I got and it's way nicer than, than I actually like needed for just one night. The biggest struggle is where is the light switch? I cannot find it. <laughs> oh, okay, there's no main light. How do I move it? Oh, okay. You can tell I've never been to a hotel. I mean, I've been to a couple of hotels, but <laughs> I act like I've never been to one. You can hardly see it. Oh, you can see a little bit of it. There's a pool, which I'm hoping to use. And here's a school thing, whatever that is. I don't know if there are rooms. I guess there are some other rooms. It is 7 p.m. And I'm honestly, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Cause I don't have a lot of time. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Uh, I still have to check, but I think I have a flight at 9 a.m. So I have to be there at seven, but getting to the airport takes like five or 10 minutes. Uh, however, this means I will have to wake up at about probably six or maybe even five, five thirty. We'll see. 
I'm not leaving this place. <laughs> and by the way, I also feel so weird because I'm traveling alone. So like I have no one to talk to, so I'm, instead I'm gonna talk to a camera. <laughs> as soon as the plane touched down, I could already tell that I'm back in the States because everyone is so nice, so welcoming. And this is what I love about the States, really. The, the people, they are, as I said, so positive and they're always smiling. I mean, usually smiling, but even if they're not smiling, they are super helpful and yeah. And this is funny because I think a lot of people from the US might not realize that in a few different places uh, that I've been to, like people, the staff at the airport or <laughs> wherever, people don't really care about you. But when you come to the US, there's like this immediate connection with other people, uh, which again, I absolutely love that. And even the lady at the airport, I asked her about how to get to this hotel and she immediately complimented my suitcase. And then the guy at the reception at a hotel, he also complimented my hair and stuff like that. So those are like those little things that I'm not sure if they're honest or not, but I mean, personally, it doesn't really matter to me because as soon as they're nice and friendly, uh, I really appreciate that kind of attitude. When the summer comes around Perfect. Okay. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, bye. 
<laughs> this is just hilarious, I swear. First of all, she's so nice. She's the nicest person I've ever met. <laughs> oh, I love it. I really love it. And it's so funny. Here is this little window view. And it's so hot, I'm sweating. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. Uh, today is the last day of my travel and the plan is to get breakfast, jump to the car to get to a place where the bus will pick me up. So get on a bus. It will be a, about a two hour long bus ride and then switch to ferry, which also be about two hours and then another two hour bus ride. So, loads of traveling and I think on this trip I've used every single mean of transportation that I possibly could. It's a beautiful day, it was actually a bit cloudy and looked like it was gonna rain, but it cleared out and it's all sunny and it's getting warm again. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just gonna pack and get some breakfast. I almost got on the wrong bus, <laughs> but I made it. Um, my urban host, as I said, was so lovely. She dropped me off there and made sure I got on the right bus. And now, I guess only six hours to go. You told me I'm your anchor. I told you you're my bow. Through the wind and fire, we try to hold on. We build this ship together, searching for our home. Despite the storm that hit us, we're still on board. Dancing in the moonlight, the world just stops and stares. We got no destination, I'll take you anywhere. All the doors we've opened, and all the books we've closed. Words just come together, story that we never told. So far Shaking for my own You said just keep holding on If you're about to break Thanks again, bye! Bye! Hey. Thank you! Hey. Yes, yes. Hola! Hola. I guess I made it. <laughs> so the reason why I came to Costa Rica is because I Surf Tribe is organizing their first ever exclusive surf camp and I came down here to help them film everything and edit videos for them so if you're not subscribed to them definitely check out their channel the link will be in the description because I'm sure a few videos are already up so definitely check out some of their latest videos and you may see me in some of them maybe not <laughs> I honestly don't know because it will be a while since I upload videos on my channel so that's that and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet for some reason definitely do it now so you don't miss any videos because a lot of content is coming up soon like really soon probably if you're watching this video it's probably gonna be the first video you see from this trip so yeah definitely subscribe for more and thanks so much for watching do what makes you happy and see ya! Bye.